Hi everyone, so I'm back with a great off campus opportunity and this one is with CSG. So if you don't know by now, CSG is hiring for software engineers right now. So this is a great opportunity for all of the people that are looking for a job because CSG again is a pretty great company to start your career off with. And the best part about this role is that this is a remote role. So in this video, we'll be talking more about the role that they're hiring for. We'll be talking about the eligibility. And of course, as always, I'm going to give you guys tips on how to get your resume shortlisted. So make sure to watch the complete video and then apply ASAP. The link to apply is going to be in the description box. It has opened two days back, so we don't know when it will close. So try to apply as soon as possible. And if you're someone who's having difficulty in off-campus placements, if you're not able to get your resume shortlisted, you're not able to get a call back, or you're not able to clear the interviews, or any other issues you're facing in your placement journey, then you can connect one to one with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box and we will work together and I will make sure that you get everything that is needed by you to crack your dream company. So again, you can connect one to one with me. The link for that is going to be in the description box. All right, coming back for this opportunity, like I said, CSG is hiring for SDE1, which is the entry level software engineering position and it is completely remote. Based on what they mentioned, it is India remote. So that means that it is not in office role as of now, which is a pretty great thing, right? Who doesn't love remote work? So that is a pretty great thing, right? And apart from that, let's talk about the eligibility because of course that is the one thing that you want to know. So first I want to make one thing clear for you right now. Most of the fresher roles that are coming right now are looking for people who are sort of immediate joiners. That's why most of the roles right now you'll be seeing are for 2025 grad. And 2026 grad, you're gonna see more roles in the near future. Right now, most of the roles are for 2025 grad. For 2026, 2027, more full-time roles, I'm saying, full-time employment jobs or openings will come in the near future. Which is why I asked you guys to be prepared for the next 90 days and I've made a placement roadmap, right, on what you need to do for the next 90 days. The link for that video is also going to be in the description box. But again, this one is also for 2025 grad. So if you've graduated, with a bachelor's degree in computer science in 2025 or before, then you are eligible for this. Okay, they've clearly said must have bachelor's degree in computer science or related field. Okay, they have not mentioned bachelor's of technology. They have not mentioned bachelor's of engineering. They've mentioned bachelor's degree. So whenever it's mentioned like bachelor's degree of computer science, then BCA, MCA, BSc, CS, everyone is eligible. Okay, as long as your degree is related to computer science, you are eligible for this. Okay, and again, it is for 25 grads and before, like I already told you, most of the roles right now are for 25 grad because companies and off campus are looking for someone who can join immediately. You being a 26 grad, you're not going to be able to join immediately. You still, you'll still have your college, you'll still have your exams, which is something that many companies don't like. There are rules for 26 grad as well, and I'll give you guys links of 26 grad openings as well. But this one and most of the roles right now are for 25 grad. But a message for 2026 and 2027 grad is that the next 90 days are going to be very important. Make sure that you're prepared because a lot of openings are coming for you guys. And as soon as they come, I will be making a video on them. All right. Now let's talk about how do you get your resume shortlisted. And let's talk a bit more about the role. So of course, it's a software engineering role. And they have asked, they have told a bit about the requirements, even though they've not gone into depth that this is the exact tech stack we want. This That is the exact tech stack we want. They've not talked like that. They have mentioned like a little bit about what they're looking for or what their role aligns with, not in depth. So what I'll be doing, I'll be giving you guys the keywords that they have used in the description box. You can pretty much have a look at that and you'll understand what the role aligned towards. But again, they're not asking for anything too much specific. Okay, but still have a look at the list of keywords and you'll understand. Now talking about how to get your resume shortlisted, this is very important and I don't want to make this any longer than it needs to be because I'm making a complete video on how to get your resume shortlisted. So in a nutshell or in a quick way, what you need to do, have high quality projects, have a good resume template and have a high ATA score. Resume template is going to be there in the description box. Just use that for your resume and ATS checking websites, ATS score checking websites are also going to be there in the description box. Again, have a look at them, check your resume's ATS score for free and make sure that it is above 75 to 80%. 75 to 80% is like the bare minimum that it needs to be. Below that, you're in a danger zone and you may not get shortlisted and you may get rejected in ATS. Okay, of course, apart from that, you need to make sure that your resume aligns with the JD, aligns with the role. But again, here they have not mentioned a lot of keywords, so you cannot do that very much. 
But what you can do is you can make sure that you have high quality projects and that will 110% help you in getting selected here. Apart from that, if you have anything that makes you stand out, if you have any sort of a good rating on a coding website, if you have done open source, if you've taken part in hackathon, anything that makes you stand out, again, mention it in your resume, that will absolutely help you in getting shortlisted. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Do all of these things and apply ASAP. I don't want to make this video any longer because it is a sensitive opening. We don't know when it will close. So just apply ASAP. And yeah, let me see you guys in the next video.